one of the things that we know about this movie cast was that you're a prankster. Oh, yes. And so can we talk about some of the pranks that you pulled on set? Um, and how much planning? Pre-planning? is it, it was definitely premeditated. Um, I actually never pranked you. Never. Because I was, I was honestly quite frightened. I just didn't know what, like, what would happen. It, it, then it would start a war with him, and I just didn't think that that was smart. Yeah. But with Vera, it's fun because, you know. You because I'm a motor. I'm an emoter. So if I get pranked, I'll emote. This yeah. guy's stoic. He's, like, He's unprankable. No, no, no. Yeah, he'll, he won't get frightened. Until? Until Godzilla storms into theaters this May 31st. <laughs> <laughs> Millie, this is your film debut. What does it feel like to jump over to movie stardom? Do you feel different? Do I feel different? No, I don't. Um, <laughs> but I, I, it's a, an extreme honor to be part of a legacy. Um, especially, you know, Godzilla is one of the biggest stars of Hollywood and to be part of a movie that's, uh, you know, a franchise and not only that with some of my favorite actors. Um, mostly these two here. The other ones are okay. Yeah. I just did brush oh, them for like two hours. So I'm like, <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so it was really fun and a, an experience. Did you take any advice or learn anything from them on set? And did you guys feel like you had to sort of like wrap your protective? Dang, we were taking advice I learned from, from her, kid. yeah. <laughs> we yes. had to take advice. She'd tell us what to do. She was the one who came up with the idea of like, she's, I need music. I need music. Play music. And so Michael Doherty would like curate the most beautiful music to, you know, to put us into gear. Yeah. I love this. That's her idea. It was, it was, it's a collaboration. I, I learned a lot from them and they didn't really have to speak. So I like, I would just watch them. And even if I wasn't in the shots, I'd watch, I'd watch the, the monitor and, and I'd take it all in. Cause it's like one of my favorite things to do is when I'm not on screen, watch the screen and um, I've learned a lot. So like every project I'm doing right now, like in my teen years is like, it's important because it's a life experience and I'm learning new things just about me as a person, but oh, I'm so sorry to the sound, um, but, but also me as a character. So uh, it definitely helped a lot. Dane does such a good work yeah. for that. Uh, Millie, you recently revealed that Game of Thrones, you auditioned and didn't get the part. I want to know some things. Are you still a fan? Can you still watch? Is winter still coming? Would you do the prequel? What? <laughs> I have like no idea what, what Game of Thrones even is. Like I, I've heard of it so many times but never actually like watched it fully through. I don't know if winter is coming or not. It's summer is coming. Um, I don't know what month it is, but I think summer is coming next. And um, and do I want to be in the prequel? Probably not. Um, because um, I don't think I'm allowed. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, because I have a lot of other things yeah. going. I am very, very busy. We're excited about the new season of Stranger Things. What can you tell us? We're not kids anymore. I mean, what did you think? We're just going to sit in my basement all day? Play games for the rest of our lives? Eleven's character evolves greatly and... Uh, I can say it's spreading fast, and that's all I can tell you. Ooh, I love that. <laughs>